everyone, it's Kayla and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be letting my turquoise lip balms decide what I eat for 24 hours. I have a feeling a lot of you guys probably were not expecting me to do a turquoise version of this video series I've been doing, but here we are now doing it. I realized that I had enough turquoise lip balms to make this video possible and I'm really excited that I do because turquoise is such a fun color, you know? I just so happen to have a turquoise hoodie in my closet so I am wearing that today. Before we get into this video, we have to do our notification shout outs. So this week's shout out goes to Pancake Productions. So congratulations on getting this week's shout out. If you guys would like the opportunity to possibly get a shout out in my next video, all you need to do is comment below hashtag notification squad and cross your fingers in hopes that you are chosen next week. Anyways, without further ado, let's just get right into this video and see what we're going to be having for breakfast today. So here is my little bin of turquoise lip balms. I'm very excited to see what we're going to get. This is the first thing. Hopefully it will be good. Okay, so I got this Ariel lip balm in the flavor Red Velvet. Oh, okay. Wow, I was not expecting that because... Well, obviously, red velvet cake is not turquoise, but it has turquoise packaging, so... Ooh, yay. I'm excited. I cannot even remember the last time that I had red velvet cake. We are going to be having that for breakfast, and since cake is pretty filling, I am probably just going to be choosing one more thing. Let's see what we get. Salted pretzel. What an interesting breakfast we are having. So guys, I'm going to go to the store and get some red velvet cake and some salty pretzels. And I'm definitely going to have to drink some water with this because, girl, I will be parched. <laughs> like, just reading the names off to you guys, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm thirsty. I'm going to go get this stuff at the store and I will be right back. All right, that was a really loud clap. So guys, I decided to eat breakfast in my room this morning. Can we just talk about how satisfying this looks? Like, oh my gosh, this salty pretzel lip smacker looks so good in this bowl of pretzels. I feel like I need to take an artsy picture of it before I eat it. But yeah, we got our pretzels and then, okay, so instead of actually making an entire red velvet cake for just me, myself to eat, I decided to make one of those little mug cakes. So it's in there. I literally just took it out of the microwave. So that is what we are having for breakfast. Um, and I also have some water because I know I'm going to be very thirsty after this. I think we are going to start off with eating our little red velvet mug cake before it gets all disgusting. Also, do you guys like the mug I'm using? It says, all I need is coffee and makeup, and that is literally so true. Let's put on our red velvet lip smacker. Wonder if this will have any tints. Maybe a little bit. Let's try this. I'm hoping that it's gonna be good. All right. Hmm, it's pretty good. It's still steaming hot. Cake for breakfast is always a win. Now that we had our red velvet cake, we are going to have some of these pretzels. And again, I just love the way that this lip smacker looks in there. Oh my gosh, so aesthetically pleasing. Anyway, so here's the lip smacker. And I actually love this one. I love savory lip balms. They are very hard to find. And when I find them, I am addicted. So let's eat these pretzels. I feel like listening to me eating these is going to be really annoying because I personally hate crunchy noises. So if you hate crunchy noises, I'm sorry. I do too. Stupid fruit flag, get away from me. So something I'm going to try to remember to do, guys, at the end of every meal is to rate it one out of 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best. So I would rate this breakfast a, hmm, I'd give it an eight out of 10. I actually really liked it and I'm still not done with it. So I'm going to sit and finish it and then I will see you guys later on for lunchtime. So guys, now it is lunchtime and we are about to find out what we are having for lunch. So we got our turquoise lip balms right here and I'm just going to reach in and hopefully we will get something lucky. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh. As soon as I saw this, I was like, girl, yes please. So I got a mint chocolate chip ice cream lip gloss. And I actually forgot that I had this. So that's so cool. It looks real almost. Not sad about having ice cream for lunch. That's for sure. Ice cream is literally one of my favorite foods ever in the whole entire world. So we're going to be having some mint ice cream. Let's see what else. How about you? You right here. 
oh, there's a little doll on it, and it's in the flavor Holiday Fruit Punch. So we are going to get some fruit punch. Why do I feel like I always get fruit punch for these videos? Like, I swear. Let's pick out one more lip balm from this bin. I think if we do one more, then that'll be it. So here we go. What did I get? I got this very pretty sparkly mint colored lip smacker, and it's in the flavor Gumdrop. Whoa, girl, that is a lot of sugar for lunch. So we are going to be having some mint chocolate chip ice cream, some holiday fruit punch, and also some gumdrops. I'm gonna go get this stuff now, and hopefully it will not make me sick. Fingers are crossed. <laughs> so I have my lunch sitting right in front of me right now. We have our cup of fruit punch. We've got a fancy little cup of some gumdrops and these literally smell like pure Christmas. That's all I can say. And then, of course, I got mint chocolate chip ice cream because that is the thing that I am most excited about. Um, the ice cream cone is actually sitting in the freezer right now because it was starting to melt. So I'm going to pull it out right when I'm ready to eat it. Let's put on our mint chocolate chip lip gloss. I don't remember where I got this, but oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's so cute. And it actually smells very accurate. All right, now I am beyond ready to go eat that ice cream cone. So I'm gonna go get it from the freezer and I will be right back. Dun, da, da, da. Here it is, guys. Yes, oh my gosh. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, it looks so perfect, like how it's melting on the sides. I'm gonna eat it now. Comment below if I'm making you crave ice cream right now. That ice cream cone was literally everything that I was hoping and dreaming it would be. So now we are going to have some of these gumdrops. And again, they smell very good, but I'm not the biggest fan of gumdrops. So let's put on our gumdrop lip smacker first. This smells very different than the real thing. This smells more like berry and the gumdrops that I bought smell like spearmint. That smells and tastes so bomb which color should i eat first guys i'm thinking purple i feel like i like the purple ones the best so let's try it oh oh Ew. no that was probably the worst one it tasted like a good and plenty and i do not like good and plenties Ugh. okay no that was really gross so maybe uh red will be better i mean it has to be better. There is no way that it could get any worse than that purple one I just tried. That one literally tasted like root beer. I'm going to go for an orange one. That one tastes like cinnamon. These have the weirdest flavors. And now to wash it all down, guys, I'm going to have some fruit punch. So here's our holiday fruit punch lip smacker going to put this on first obviously the color of the product is pink i thought it was going to be red so that was a surprise oh it smells so good that smells like pure candy oh my gosh cheers guys so that was all for lunch and if i had to rate that lunch i think i would probably give it a we're gonna go with seven um the fruit punch was very good the ice cream was very good but the gumdrops Honestly guys, I only ate a couple. I cannot eat these. They're just like very minty and sugary at the same time and just kind of I don't know. I'm not a fan. My favorite part about it was obviously the ice cream I got to eat. I'm gonna go now, but I will see you guys for dinner time. So guys, now it is time for supper. <laughs> Just kidding. It's dinner time. I used to call dinner supper when I was little. I thought that I was cool if I said supper. Like I thought it was very proper and cool. But anyway, that's besides the point. So let's see what's on the menu. All right. The first thing we are having is this is called mint jubilee. So we're going to be having some mints. Darn it. Well, maybe I'll eat the mints last. So that can be our after dinner treat. Let's pick again. Okay. Let's see, we got love and toast in the flavor, green tea, mint. Okay, so far this is not a very filling dinner. We are going to pick again now, and I'm really hoping that we'll get something a little bit more filling. So let's go with this big guy right here. It is, oh, pancakes and syrup. Oh my gosh, this is literally exactly what I needed because pancakes are very filling. 
and I feel like this will be enough now. Like honestly, pancakes fill me up more than I think any other food. So we're gonna be having pancakes, we're gonna be having mint green tea, and also some peppermints. I feel like this would be something that would be great to eat for breakfast. If only I would have gotten this for breakfast and then my breakfast for dinner. Because I had pretzels this morning for breakfast and that's more like dinner, kind of, sort of. It's a snack, but anyway, I'm thinking way too much into this. So let's go get dinner. Okay guys, so this is what dinner looks like tonight. We have our pancakes and I kind of tried to make them look like the picture. I know there's not as many on there. We got the butter and the syrup going on. They look pretty good to me. Um, we have a bag of these Starlight Mints since we got this Mint Jubilee Lip Smacker. And then we have a cup of very hot peppermint green tea. So that is our dinner and now I'm going to eat it because these pancakes are really tempting me and I am starving. Pancakes are all cut up and so we are going to be putting on our lip balm first, of course. So let's see. Oh, it still smells really good. I got this like five years ago and it's still really good. It tastes so sweet. My favorite thing is whenever lip balms not only smell good, but taste good. Let's eat our pancakes. These were frozen pancakes, by the way, so we'll see if they're any good. Mmm, they're actually very good. So our mint green tea is still pretty hot, like it's steaming. We have our lip balm right here, mint green tea, and I don't ever remember using this. It smells like, it smells like Carmex, like the original Carmex. I was not expecting that. Hmm. It tastes sweet, but I am not digging the scent, that is for sure. But who knows, maybe it's like very healing for your lips. All right, so let's take a sip. Oh, it's actually the perfect temperature. I always like my drinks to be pretty hot. Obviously not so hot that I burn my mouth, but... I always feel very healthy when I drink any kind of green tea. So that's all good. And it actually goes with the pancakes pretty well. The last thing we are going to be having to conclude our dinner are these mints right here. And these are spearmints. The lip smacker that we will be using is the Mint Jubilee. And this one came out a while ago. I love that the color of the product is mint. I'm glad I got it. Mm, okay, that smells like spearmint, so I'm really happy that I decided to go with the spearmints because I didn't know if I should get peppermints or spearmints, but um, I always get peppermints, so I thought this would be a nice little change. To conclude the dinner, I am just going to suck on one of these. <laughs> I feel really weird talking with a mint in my mouth, but it's going to take a while for it to dissolve, so I'm just going to say that that was dinner. I think I'm going to make like another pancake because I'm still kind of hungry. But if I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, I think I would give it a 7.5. So it was pretty decent. I'm not even complaining. All right, you guys. So that was all for today's video of my turquoise lip balms deciding what I eat for the day. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite color to wear? My favorite color to wear is probably light pink because I just feel like it complements me the most and it's also my favorite color. Um, I also really like wearing black because I just think it looks good on me. But I would really love to hear what you guys have to say so comment below what your best color is. I love you guys so so much. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.